Short, Melissa Johnston, AP Environmental Science 3, November 25th, 2008, Endangered Species Project. also known as carnivores. Jaguars eat mammals, birds, fish, and large reptiles like turtles. 242 centimeters and the weight is 136,000 grams. Breeding takes year round and at the northern end, likely a spring breeding occurs. The species is strongly associated with the presence of water. And the red represents where they were in the past, and the green represents where they are right now. The females mature at the age of three, while the males mature at the age of four. They mostly hunt on the ground, but um, may occasionally pounce on prey from, it, say, a tree or a ledge. As you can see, they're in the southern U.S. and parts of Mexico and Latin America and a lot of South America. The jaguar's habitat is found near warm places like tropical savannas and forests, and also the forest, grasslands, woodlands. Here's a picture of the U.S. and where they are located there. As you can see, it's California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and Louisiana. The jaguar has started to decline since the mid-1900s in southwestern U.S. People have competed with jaguars for prey and jaguars are also frequently shot on sight, which obviously does not help the conservation of these wonderful beasts. Jaguars in the United States are mainly the males and they breed in northern Mexico and then they move up, but things that um, hinder that movement is human developments that are like highways and fences and it blocks them so they can't move further north. Jaguars are known to kill cattle so ranchers and farmers kill them because they are a pest species. Anti-fur campaigns and sites controls um, progressively shut down international markets. Addressing livestock management and problem animal issues is a high priority for conservation effort in many jaguar range countries. Um, commercial hunting and trapping of jaguars um, has actually declined drastically since the mid-1970s. A habitat conservation plan is designed to offset any harmful effects that might happen to the species. The Fish and Wildlife Service thought up of a, an idea it's saying that basically a U.S. recovery plan for the endangered jaguar would not advance the conservation of the big cat. They haven't really thought of a secure plan for the jaguar. While the service has determined that a formal U.S. recovery plan does not necessarily benefit the jaguar, the agency continues to be committed on the ground efforts. The Endangered Species Act requires the federal government to designate a critical habitat for any species on its list. A critical habitat is a specific area occupied by the species at the time of the listing and any features inside that area that may require protection. Um, however, although hunting has decreased, there is still demand for jaguar paws, teeth, and other products. Thank you for joining us today with our lovely documentary on the endangered species known as the jaguar. I'm Jessica Short. And I'm Melissa Johnson. And this is us signing off. Two hands. Hey, hey. One hand. Hey, hey. No hands. No hands. Hey. Jessica Short. Melissa Johnston. AP Environmental Science. Three. Three. All right, let's do it over. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'll just redo it because I can't. <laughs> Just kind of set up a recovery plan that would have little influence on protecting the jaguar population and myself. The jaguar is coming out of the cave. <laughs> that cave over there. Down yonder. Down yonder. The jaguar hunts for a prey. I'm 
Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. She's a beaut. D4 D4 is straight. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Thank you. Thank you. That's a wrap.